the truth test a little background. Randy Perkins threatened to sue the TV stations that dared to run this political ad, saying it's deceptive. Here's how the ad opens. We've seen Randy Perkins' ads. But I've worked as hard as millions of Americans do. Now here's the real story. As far as getting this ad off the air, Perkins did not win the war, but he did win the battle. After Perkins got upset, the NRCC, the conservative group behind the ad, toned down some of its language and put it right back on air. So how truthful is the new ad? Let's dive in. Perkins made a fortune off disasters. Hurricanes like Katrina and Wilma. People were suffering. Perkins was profiting. True, Perkins is a millionaire. In the business that helped make him rich, Ashbrit Environmental swoops in to clean up disaster-stricken areas. So is Perkins profiting from people's suffering as the ad claims? Well, the truth meter gives that a half true. The fact is that when disaster strikes, Perkins makes money. So that part's true. But that doesn't necessarily mean Perkins is the vulture preying on unsuspecting people as the ad makes him out to be. After all, Perkins' main clients are government agencies, not you and me. Now, the next allegations are more serious. So listen closely. This is the line that ended up getting toned down. Making millions of dollars off the taxpayers, even grossly overbilling a school district. Now Randy Perkins wants to buy a seat in Congress. How can we possibly trust him? True, auditors accuse Perkins Company of overbilling the Broward County School District by hundreds of thousands of dollars for cleanup work following Hurricane Wilma. Perkins has denied any overcharging scheme and instead settled with the school district, giving back $200,000. And the district said that Perkins Company, quote, committed no wrongdoing, end quote. So that part is half true. Now, as far as Perkins buying his seat in Congress, well, the system allows Perkins to do that. As long as it's legal for millionaires to put as much of their own money into their campaign as they want, it will feel like they are buying their seat. By the way, Perkins is running against Republican Brian Mass for Patrick Murphy's old seat in Congress. Mark Kelly, WPBF 25 News.